We've got a pretty big announcement coming out of Seattle today. Mayor Bruce Harrell is extending the eviction moratorium one final time until the end of the month. The order from March of 2020 that was extended over and over again will now expire in just over two weeks. Fox 13's Jennifer Lee has the reaction pouring in from community members. There's a whole lot of mixed reaction coming in on the new announcement for the eviction moratorium. Some people are looking at it positively and seeing it like a light at the end of the tunnel, while others aren't getting their hopes up just yet. So the building runs from this corner all the way down to the flowers over there. Scott McDonald is planning to redevelop this property in Beacon Hill into a mixed use retail and apartment building. But his project has been held up for about two years, he says, because of one tenant. Well, with the eviction moratorium, it's been, um, you know, it's allowed him to stay two years longer almost than he otherwise would have stayed. But new Friday, Mayor Bruce Harrell says he's now extending the eviction moratorium for just a final two weeks. The city says the order that started in March of 2020 will finally expire at the end of the month. Ryan Weatherstone is a landlord tenant attorney and says housing providers can start addressing issues that have gone unchecked. It does allow landlords to see the light at the end of the tunnel that they may be able to eventually start collecting on this rent or they may may be able to go ahead and move on from this tenancy and, and find a tenant who is going to pay the rent. But Ida, who owns this property in the Lake City neighborhood, is not as optimistic. I personally feel like I have been treated like a free, uncompensated homeless shelter by the city. Ida claims her tenant owes her over 45 grand in rent and utilities and hasn't been cooperative. The city council also passed an ordinance that provides an additional six months of eviction protection after the moratorium expires. The city says people facing eviction will have a right to a free attorney. Once you get a, a full picture of all of the hurdles that are put in front of a landlord to actually gain possession of their property and to actually have justice served, it is actually very challenging. The city says the Office of Housing will be distributing over $25 million to support renters and small landlords, similar to the King County Eviction Prevention and Rent Assistance Program. He does have a place to move to across the road, um, but we are um, we're working with him to try and get him over there, trying to help him with his remodel and uh, we think he's almost finished. As for the project in Beacon Hill, McDonald says his tenant has a location ready to go across the street that's in its final stages of remodeling. We foresee him being out in the next month and a half, um, and we're gonna assist him in getting across the road and um, so that he can get back in business in the existing store that he already owns and occupies across the street. Separate from the eviction moratorium, there is a city council ordinance that gives protections to people who can show they're still facing financial hardships for an additional six months. Otherwise, the city says that landlords can go ahead with eviction proceedings as long as they can show just cause. In Seattle, Jennifer Lee, Fox 13 News. Jennifer, thanks.